Riverdale star KJ Appa is now officially a Samoan chief after being bestowed a new title in a traditional ceremony by his family back in Samoa. The 25-year-old actor, who hails from the village of Muata, has been given the Matai title of Save, the same name as his famous uncle and legend Sir Michael Jones, who also held the title of the Aulu. So in today's video, let's look at what happened at the ceremony. First up, KJ Appa becomes a Samoan chief and vows to serve community. Riverdale star KJ Appa has been bestowed with a Samoan chiefly title in his family village of Moata. In a special ceremony known as a Salfi, in the early hours of the morning, KJ Appa sat among the village and Matai and of his extended Ega as prayers were said, hymns were sung, and an Ava ceremony was performed. Appa wore traditional Samoan finery, with a fine mat wrapped around his body and a pale puyono, which is a beaded headpiece. At one point in the ceremony, he gave a short speech in Samoan, which included the words, O le au tautoa, meaning I will serve. Still speaking in Samoan, he wished God's blessings upon the people of his village, including the wider family and all of those present, before wishing everyone a good day. He then drank deeply from a coconut shell in his hand, filled with ava. Appa was later pictured removing the traditional items that he wore and gifting them to village leaders. As is the custom there, he even gifted those present with monetary lay. Appa's been enjoying his time in the island nation with his partner, Clara Berry. The couple is traveling with their son, Sasha, who will celebrate his first birthday later this month. The parents have been sharing an insight into the tropical and colorful sights and sounds of Samoa, with fans via their Instagram profiles, showing off Fia Fia nights at the Taumasina Island Resort and trips to the local markets. Appa's Riverdale co-star, Charles Melton, was also spotted watching on as the ceremony took place, along with Clara Berry, of course. Melton was showing off a huge smile as his friend took a swig of kava. The actor, who plays the character of Reggie in the CW series, arrived in Samoa yesterday after traveling via Fiji. He now joins a number of well-known Samoans around the world and New Zealand to be bestowed chiefly titles, including boxing champion Palmina Tuelatai David Tua, former Black Caps star Lea Pepe Ross Taylor, and Seuli Dwayne Johnson, better known as The Rock. Moving on, KJ Appa returns to his roots in Auckland. KJ Appa is finally back home in New Zealand. Having said goodbye to his Riverdale character's bright red hair, he's now embracing a new cropped look and hanging out with his best mate, Boston Ridge, and his family. The 25-year-old looks like he is reveling in returning to his pre-Riverdale self, leaving his redhead comic book character Archie Andrews behind. Maybe Appa's looking out for permanent digs on his home visit to Aotearoa. After it was announced in May that the hit show would come to an end after its seventh season. In a recent interview with the entertainment publication US Weekly, Appa said that the end of Riverdale was both exciting and sad, but he wasn't going to miss dyeing and bleaching his hair every week. Appa also told the publication that he was planning to return to New Zealand this year and would like his partner, French model Clara Berry, and one-year-old son Sasha to make the permanent move with him. The Riverdale star said he wanted his son to know his family there, but he also has to convince his girl to think about moving over there. Barry recently shared pictures on Instagram of herself on a beach in New Zealand. She also shared snaps on her Instagram story at the Auckland War Memorial Museum and with Sasha crawling at a home with a view of Rani Toto. Appa is understood to have returned home to New Zealand for now. After a day fishing on the Waitemata, Ridge's mom Sally, who's a great friend of Tessa and Kennedy, Appa's mom and dad, posted a picture of herself, Barry, Appa, her son, Aston Perori, and her boyfriend, Scott Fitchett, who's the managing director at AA Smart Fuel. Such an adorable bunch. Next, what do we know about his upcoming movie? In the US, KJ has begun filming One Fast Move, in which he stars in the high-octane racing adventure film about a dishonorably discharged soldier seeking out his estranged father to help him pursue his dream of racing, supersport motorcycles.
musicals. Euphoria and Grey's Anatomy star Eric Dane stars as Appa's father in the film. It's being produced by Gulfstream Pictures, which also produced Appa's 2019 movie, The Last Summer. The former Shortland Street actor sent social media into a spin last week when he posted a picture of himself and Dane hanging out on Instagram. He jokingly captioned the pic, New couple alert, one fast move, which is being filmed in Atlanta, is the perfect new vehicle for KJ to sink his energy into. Deadline has reported that the car and bike enthusiast spent more than a year developing the film with its director and writer, Helly Blatz. The action movie promises to take audiences into the dangerous and exciting world of motorcycle racing. There have been no recent sightings of Appa and Boston hitting the roads on bikes in Auckland. Maybe Appa will be checking out the engines while helping his mate at Carfe. Since Boston is now managing director of Dad Matthews' two high-end car wash sites, last month, Matthew joined his wife, Chloe, and their two young children to live in France. And now, for some other related news. Firstly, our new superhero, KJ Appa, joins the DC Universe. He's leaping from one comic book character to another, but this time, he'll be a superhero of the alien kind for a new upcoming movie. The actor has starred as Archie Andrews on Netflix's Riverdale, based on the comic book series Archie for six seasons since 2017, with Netflix confirming the seventh and final season recently. Now, he's set to star in the DC comedy film The Wonder Twins for HBO. Appa, who already has four movies under his belt so far, will play Zan, a shapeshifter of sorts, which will suit the actor, who has demonstrated some amazing face morphing often on his Instagram. Co-starring with the 24-year-old former Shortland Street star is the actress Isabel May of American drama 1883 fame. She will be playing Jaina, Zan's twin, whose superhero talent is transforming into an animal. Jaina and Zan are aliens from the planet Exer, and in past comic books were being informally trained by the DC superheroes. A backgrounder reported by Deadline explains that the movie will be set in a 1977 Super Friends comic. The twins were orphaned during a plague and were adopted by the alien Exorians. After learning that the villain Grax is set to destroy Earth, they travel to warn the Justice League, ultimately blending into life on Earth as Swedish exchange students attending Gotham City High School. Next, KJ Appa appears a loving father in adorable new pictures with his son. It looks like Archie Andrews made a good father after all. Appa is making plans for his future. After it was confirmed, Riverdale will come to an end next year. The star, who was born and raised in Auckland before relocating to Canada to film the CW series, revealed to Us Weekly that he wants to come back to New Zealand once he's done filming. He told the publication that he's planning to return to his home country this year and would like his partner, Clara Berry, and eight-month-old son, Sasha Vai Kanedi Appa, to accompany him in making the permanent move. Appa has since revealed himself as a doting father and regularly shares heartwarming posts of him and his son, including a video where Appa reads the book Goodnight Moon to his young son. Lastly, Bring It On is getting a horror movie sequel with Riverdale star. Bring It On, the long-running cheerleader comedy series, has had a film and five direct-to-video sequels. Now the people behind the franchise have decided to mix things up a little. And what's better than mixing cheerleaders with horror? It's being reported that the seventh film in the series will be titled Bring It On, Cheer or Die, will be produced by a subsidiary of Universal, and is expected to come to sci-fi later this year. Riverdale's Tiara Scofby, SEAL Team and Y, The Last Man's Missy Piles, Carrie Matters, all star in the new movie. Meanwhile, Sci-Fi's Van Helsing director, Karen Lamb, will head the project. She-Hulk, attorney at laws, Dana Schwartz, has written the script with Glorious's Rebecca McKendry. Executive vice president and general manager of Universal 1440 Entertainment, Glenn Ross, added in a statement that they were excited to team up with Sci-Fi to continue this ever-popular franchise. And that's a wrap for this video. What do you think about Riverdale star KJ Appa being a Samoan chief?
chief and vowing to serve his community. Plus, are you excited for the final season of Riverdale? Let us know in the comments down below. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. See you in the next video.